is the perfect weather for a parade, and the Chicago area has plenty of them. It's the stuff you never get tired of. Bands, politicians, families, and funds. Maybe the politicians. <laughs> CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from West Suburban Riverside, where there is a lot going on this morning. Hi, Mike. Indeed, we are just across the street from Centennial Park right now. We are just up the street from Guthrie Park, where the Centennial Independence Day activities will be going on here until well into the afternoon. But they started early this morning here with a 5K run and also with the annual March Through Town. The Riverside High School marching band stops to perform in the village's annual Independence Day parade. Other attractions today, Shriners going for a magic carpet ride, gymnasts and dancers showing off some of their best moves, and Boy Scouts walking down Long Common Road while showering the street with candy, which not surprisingly was eagerly snapped up by youngsters lining the parade route. For the little kids, the day seemingly might revolve around sweets and family get-togethers. Get a lot of candy? Yes! Yeah. Yes. But for adults, Independence Day is about those types of activities and much, much more. What does this day mean to you? Well, I think back what I said at Gettysburg, that we are a nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. American is the uh, you know, home of the free, and uh, we celebrate our freedom. We uh, appreciate those who are protecting our freedoms. Just to be proud to live in this country. You get to say what you want, do what you want, free speech, free religion. I mean. Why wouldn't you love about being American? It means everything because I was born here, I was raised here, and I have all the liberties that I can reach for. Other people don't have that. Gubernatorial candidate J.B. Pritzker was also here at the parade, handing out fans and blazing with his name and wishing people a happy 4th of July. And it's a good thing they wrapped up things pretty early, at least with the run and also with the parade, because as hot as it is out here right now, things could probably get downright uncomfortable if you're out here running and possibly even marching under these rather sweltering conditions. Live across from Centennial Park, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa, Aaron? Yeah, those marching band uniforms are hot. Mike, yeah, thank are. you.